Welcome back, as we now turn our attention to typical braking systems. A braking system is essential on any vehicle in order to bring a vehicle to rest and to hold it at rest even on a slope. The simplest of brakes are known as drum brakes. Pressing the brake pedal, also called a foot brake, operates this type. The connection between the foot brake and the brake components behind the brake drum is made using a hydraulic circuit. A special fluid called brake fluid is used in the hydraulic circuit of drum brakes. This fluid is contained in a small tank called the brake fluid reservoir. The checking of this fluid forms part of an operator's checking routine, which we will cover in the next module. Drum type brakes are generally fitted to vehicles that have torque converter type transmissions. The braking system used on hydrostatic vehicles is very different from that which we've just seen. Braking occurs automatically within the transmission when the operator's foot is taken off either of the direction pedals. The center pedal is an emergency stop pedal. This pedal is used only when the vehicle has to be stopped in a great hurry. All vehicles must be fitted with a parking brake. A parking brake is used when the vehicle has stopped not to stop the vehicle. This brake holds the vehicle in a stationary position and is always applied before a vehicle is left unattended. Sometimes a parking brake is applied using the emergency brake pedal. A special locking lever holds the emergency brake in its applied position. The traditional brake application is with a hand brake lever and is mostly situated to the left side of the control panel. Always refer to the operator's instruction manual for details on the braking system of your vehicle. After the break, we will look at steering systems.